Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to Iron Iron Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my Nexus earnings from CPU mining for the previous month. So I've been mining Nexus um, a couple of, across a few different machines, um, and I'll be talking you through the actual machines in themselves and also what the earnings were for each one of those. So I'm just going to be working on the machine next to me, which is my normal home PC. Uh, if we open up this little slide that I've got here, I can just explain each one of the machines um, as I am mining with them. So we've got Worker 1, it's got an Intel i5-6600K and that's running at 4.4 GHz. Using three threads, get roughly around about 500 hashes per second. You will see in the actual miner itself it's measured as PPS, I think it's primes per second, um, but just for simpli simplicity I've just got that written down as um, hashes per second. And like I say, using free threads there, that's the same across all of the machines. And the only thing that changes uh, between, each, between each one of the machines is the actual uptime. On Worker 1, the uptime is around about 90%. Worker 3, the uptime is around about 100%. And Worker, the Risky Fire 10, which is my home machine, the one that I'm actually on right now. And the uptime for that is probably around about 50 or 60% because I do a lot more work um, at home on the machine. And whilst I'm doing that, then I'm obviously not uh, mining as much. So just go back on the actual stats, Worker 3 has got a AMD A10 7700K, uh, that's running at 4 GHz, gets about 160 hashes per second. Risky Fire 10, which is the machine right here, this one, has got a old Intel i7-950, and that's running at 3.9 GHz, and that gets around about 200 hashes per second there. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just open up the actual wallet itself. Um, I'll extract all the actual transactions over the previous month. What I'm going to do is from the, the 10th of February until the 10th of March. So they're going to be the transactions that we are tracking. So um, obviously you just see my balance there, it's not really very much. Um, so Nexus CPU mining is a good um, companion kind of mining system. So you can use it to mine on your GPU rigs if you put one core to your Nexus CPU miner then it'll be a great way for you to um, earn some extra um, income. Sorry, let me just uh, select the desktop. So I'm just going to export the transactions um, to a CSV file so I can open it with Excel. Um, let's just open this up now. And what I'm going to do is Firstly, I'm just going to make sure it's sorted in the correct date order. So I will sort it by a date. I think I need it descending, so pretty much as it is. And then the top transactions, so this is the 9th um, and the 11th is here. So I'm just going to remove those top transactions. There wasn't any actually received on the 10th. Um, and then we've got here, which is the 10th of February. So 10th of February, um, and this one's actually on the 7th of February. So all of these ones underneath, I'm just going to delete all of those. So now we've got the 10th of February at the bottom up to the 10th of March. The next thing I'm going to do is just sort by, you can see this column D, you've got all the worker references. So what I've got is each one of my uh, Nexus CPU miners, I've got each one working using a different address, and then that way I can track the earnings from each one of them. So I'm just gonna sort by uh, column D, which is uh, the label, and ascending, doesn't matter really for each. So you can see worker one, so that's the, the machine with the i5 6600K uh, in there got it's actually worker 10 sometimes call it worker 10 sometimes risky fire 10 but this is the home machine uh, the one that I'm actually working on right now to do this screen presentation and then we've got worker 3 which is the AMD A10 machine so what we can see so for the period of one month 10th to the 10th uh, worker 1 mined a total of is that right seems a little bit higher there for a second yep just to double check. Yeah, that's fine. So 
yes, yeah, sorry, worker one mined 110 Nexus. Worker 10 or risky fire 10, you mined 32 Nexus. And also worker 3 mined 34 Nexus. So in this one, you can see that the difference between uh, worker 1, you can see actually uh, the difference between worker 3 and sorry, and worker risky fire 10. Even though worker three was actually running a little bit slower because of the it had 100% uptime, it's actually earned more overall than and you know this machine sort of here. So even though Risky Fire 10 was going faster, it just overall uh, better uptime on worker three. Sorry for the uh, complication there. So that gives us a total of across all of our three CPU mining machines, we get a total of 177.31. So 177.31 Nexus. Uh, if we go to Coin Market Cap, we can see what that is in a uh, US dollar amount. So it's currently at 13 cents. So if we mined all those coins, held them until today, and sold now, 13 cents, we would have mined a total of 23 dollars worth. So Obviously, it's not a huge amount of money. It's just really, um, you know, some extra pocket money, really. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what you can, um, you know, by running this sort of what I call companion mining. So CPU mining is not your primary income. It's just something that you can do on the side, and you can do it on any any computer hardware, really. And it just um, is an excellent uh, companion mining to any of your GPU mining rigs or burst kind mining rigs or whatever else you've got going. Nexus is just something, like I say, that you can do alongside that and um, you know earn some extra pocket money to go alongside there. So I just wanted to share with you what my Nexus earnings were across all of those machines and for the period of one month, just to give you a realistic expectation of exactly what your earnings um, can be. So that's pretty accurate. Like I say, obviously, there's a slight consideration uh, of the actual uptime, but you're, if you have 100% uptime, basically, you're going to get better results than me. Um, network difficulty and stuff like that also comes into play as well, but I won't get into that during the course of this video. I just want to kind of keep it focused on, um, you know, what I'm sort of doing and the sort of the earnings are based on, you know, that crypto mining efforts. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this watching this video. If you have, give it a like. If you'd like to see more of this, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thanks very much for watching and commenting. Uh, any questions or comments, obviously, just put those in the box below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, I do read all your comments, so if you've got anything to say, then, then pop it below and I'll, I'll be sure to read it and get back to you. So that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.